Bay Social Work Department. We are going to just take a brief look at some of the activities built into BoardMaker Online that make it the powerful tool um, that it is over and above the disk version that used to be out um, in years past, if you remember that at all. Um, so when we go to your dashboard on your account, you're going to go to My Board Maker, and you're going to go to Create Activity. And this is where it brings you up to um, a new blank activity. And if you ever use the Board Maker disk, that's kind of what that is for static or printable activities. And then you can create a whole host of interactive activities. And they have templates built right in to allow you to do that quickly and easily. And then use them in the classroom on a computer, smart board, iPad, whatever it might be. For purposes of this, we're going to look at two different templates just to give you an idea of how they work. We're going to look at the sorting template down here. And we're also going to look at the books template up here. Let's start with the books template. The reason I like the books template is because it allows you to create social stories quickly and easily and then have them saved right into your account. Anytime you click a template, it's going to open up a menu over here of different types of templates under that category. So you'll see picture only books, you'll see text on the bottom, portrait, landscape, lots of different ones. You could either make a printable story right here. So if you're going to use it on, um, print it and use it on paper, choose the paper one. If you're going to use it on the interactive computer or smart board, use the TV one, okay? I'm going to choose this one right here because it ha allows you to do text and pictures all in one book. So we're going to select that, and anytime you select it, it's going to open a window that looks like this. And what's nice about the templates is every time you click one and, tr and edit them, it provides you with words in red that tell you what you need to do on the template. So for this one, it says your title goes here, type your book title below. Simply click, highlight, and start typing. Down here it says place a symbol or a picture here. So if you click and you hit enter, it brings you to where you can find your pictures. Remember you can do symbols from BoardMaker, web search which imports safe images from the web, or browse your computer right here. Okay. So I'm going to, for symbols, let's just do feelings. When I populate what I want, I choose the right one. Just simply click it and then hit select and then it's going to dump into my book. So I just made the first page of my book just like that. I typed the title and I put the title picture on there. Now if I go to this drop down over here, you'll see this is repeated several times. So I'm going to go to page one. It said text goes here. I'm going to highlight it just like I did before. I feel sad. You could type as much or little as you want in there. And then up here it gives you your directions again. Place symbol or picture. So same thing. Click it. Hit enter. And it allows you again to add pictures from the web, pictures from the computer. Let's do web search this time. Let's do sad. Just like that. So there's page two. So what we did was selected the story template, the book template, and now we're following the prompts to make an interactive story. So we did the title, picture, words, picture. Now I can go on to page two and do the same thing. My text goes here. I feel happy. And now what I can do is click up here again, hit return. We found symbols from BoardMaker. We did the web search. Now if you go also can browse your computer. I put a picture in here already today that I want to use. Select it. And there's my image. Now I can go up and play it. Feelings. You'll notice that it reads. 
I feel sad. I feel sad. I feel happy. I feel sad. I feel sad. Which is a nice feature. You can also click on the symbols button and it brings up some of the pictures that are used on the page. I feel happy. And you can add I feel those happy. to your book. Feel. Feel. So this makes a nice interactive story with pictures from the board maker, from the computer, or from the web quickly and easily using the story template within BoardMaker Online. And of course you can save it up here. One of the other templates we want to look at quickly is the sorting one, which is also popular and used quite a bit. Again, it allows you to create any different um, com combinations of sorting. Um, let's just select this two groups of 10. If you don't have 10 pictures, whatever you don't use will stay empty. While that loads, we'll wait. Again, the same thing. Allows you to edit the fields on here. So if you wanted to call this happy, if you're doing a feelings sort, you wanted to call this sad. Same thing, you just click and hit enter and allows you to add in pictures. Now you are making the correct answers. So when you put the images in here, you want to make sure that they're correct. Get a combination of different ones. Now the nice thing is, again, you don't have to leave BoardMaker to get happy images. You can do it from the computer, from the web, or just from BoardMaker. Go to set, hit enter, set from BoardMaker. Again, you would take a little more time on this probably. I'm just doing it quickly for purposes of this. Show you how easy it is to make an activity from scratch using a template. Let's choose this one for now. So you added these pictures to here. That's all you got to do. Now you can play it or save it again. Once you play it, there's your activity already made and ready to go. That's right. Belongs in happy. That's right. Belongs in. That's right. Belongs in sad. That's right. Belongs in sad. You so, reached the end of the. So just in two minutes, you made an interactive interactive activity using another one of the templates in Boardmaker Online, um, which is nice. So this was just intended to show you briefly how you can use the templates within Boardmaker Online to create activities. Again, it's under My Boardmaker, and then Create Activity, and you can search from any of these. Now, if there's something you're like, what does that do? What is, how do you use that? You can always go to something and then select show sample and it'll show you a sample activity made with that. Again, something like memory or find the pairs could be really cool for, um, for social work. Um, there's bingo, matching games like tic-tac-toe. Again, so just a ton, a ton of stuff on here that's in here so you can search for that. Remember the paper means print, the TV means interactive. Um, but we can talk more about this as you start creating. It's easier to do when you can make it, to, we can make it together and do it that way. But I hope this was helpful to show you how you can create from template quickly and easily. And thanks for watching.